A lot of the time that you spend in Fruity will be spent in the step sequencer, whether it's sequencing straight onto the uh, sequencer there or using the piano roll. It's important to note that while Fruity is a, a MIDI DAW, um, the way it deals with note information is not strictly MIDI. It uh, uses its own internal way of uh, dealing with notes, which is good because it gives us all these other options that we'll look at, uh, look at a bit later. The first um, hotkey I'd like to mention is F4, which is really useful for going to the next empty pattern. Um, so as we start to drop in some samples here, um, we can see we can start to um, lay them all out. Um, a useful thing to keep track of is to then apply them into filter groups. So we'll call that perk. Now if we if we do I would decide that we want to add other um, other instruments into that same layer, again we do the same process, group selected and just call it the same thing which is perk and that'll add them all in. In um, Fruity there's a interesting knob up the top here called swing so if we play that and as we adjust the swing knob, we'll hear it'll start to swing all the notes, which is really cool. Um, getting that into the piano roll is also very easy. As soon as we go send a piano roll, um, we can see here that it's inserted all the notes into the piano roll with the swing already applied. So playing that now and adjusting the swing will see it makes no difference. If we were to duplicate out this to create a, a two bar loop, um, and then add in a add in another layer. We hear it plays and then doesn't play for the second half. And that's where this little button comes in. Repeat step sequencer. Now this will repeat this each time for every bar. Another really really cool feature of Fruity Loops, especially if you're working with a lot of samples, is something called a layer channel. So if we insert a layer channel, um, select all of them, and we can go set children. Now if we edit the piano roll here, you'll see it's playing every, every single one of those notes, which is not useful on its own, but as soon as we go to Split Children, from C5 you'll see it'll, it'll play them all individually. And this way you can create your own uh, percussion samplers. Um, and as well, even with all these samples all linked into the same, uh, the same layer channel there, we can open up the mixer and actually say uh, get these first two and send that to this channel and uh, the second three we can put across to say this channel um, and you can see that there are playing uh, they'll play through their appropriate channels although they're not very loud there